Vice. Hi, sir. Um, nagka, uh, may tumawag na po ba sa inyo from the palace, particularly uh, President Arroyo, outgoing President Arroyo, at meron na po bang scheduled meeting as part of the transition? Wala pa scheduled meeting. Uh, we asked President Arroyo, sabi ko meron nung nakaschedule na <coughs> excuse me, several interviews. Inuna ko po itong press conference and two interviews after that. We do not want to uh, cause her uh, any reason to wait. So we, we are scheduling some time after this this interviews, no? Para naman na hindi natin sa pinaghihintay. Okay. Pero pero may nagsabi lang ko sa akin, no? Wala namang formal notice na tatawagan tayo. Ah, okay. Sir, isa na lang, ah, gumawa na po kayo ng history as the first bachelor president. Ah, magkakaroon po ba ng second history na magkakaroon naman ng first wedding sa Malacanang? At kailan po ito? Kakausapin ko pa si Madam Aurin kung meron sa prediction nun. Sa ngayon po, alam naman yung mula ng kampanya, bago ng kampanya, yan po ang kaisa-isang tanong na hindi natin nasasagot. Pipilitin natin masagot yan sa lalo madali pa lang. Okay. Says, Mr. President-elect, good afternoon. How do you plan on reaching out to the military? Uh, ngayon po ay maraming nag-aalboroto mga koronel at general gawa po ng pagka-bypass ng kanilang promotion at tila kayo po ang isinisisi ng AFP Chief of Staff sa ngayon. I think who's siguro talaga yung AFP Chief of Staff, no? But I think it should be clear that Congress was called to become the National Board of Canvassers. Ngayon, you cannot uh, hold the session and at the same time, the Commission appointment will take several of the members present. And uh, with the caveat that I assume all who have been presented to the Commission appointments, with the exception of the Chief of Staff, no, have no issues before them, after a cursory review or a, as clear a review as possible, we will resubmit their appointments so that those who are deserving uh, will be considered and fulfill the requirements of the Constitution and thereby get their appropriate ranks. With the exception of the Chief With the exception of the Chief of Staff, who at the present time, with these uh, comments and insinuations, uh, does not indicate a harmonious relationship with us. No. And I think you know, there have been intermediaries. He, he knows where I am coming from. I understand what he needs. So we will work for the betterment of the institution and the stability of the country. Do I take it to mean to follow up, Mr. President, that he will not be the Chief of Staff? He will not be uh, the Chief of Staff. And another, uh, another question, final question. Um, do you see, nakikita niyo po bang tila bilog ang mundo dahil ang nagproklama po sa inyo ang siyang nagkulong sa inyong ama at, um, at uh, hinihinga ng permiso ng inyong ina para bumisita po noon sa Fort Bonifacio. In fairness po, no? siya po yung masabi natin administrator ng Marsa, no? pero as far as my dad is concerned, I think my mom is on the record as having said that uh, everything had to be directed to President Marcos himself if it is with regards to my, to my father. Ngayon sa Bilogan Mundo, in fairness to the Senate President, yung he did champion uh, the role of the Senate in this last year or so uh, with regards to the C5 issue, with regards to the PSE issue, amongst other things. I, with, um, you know, with expanding political cloud and uh, at political expense to him, he did champion issues that were also uh, advocacies that I also hold to. So bygones will be bygones. So long as we are working for uh, the betterment of the people, I don't see where we should be engaging in conflict that does not produce tangible positive results for the people. Yung in that connection, uh, Governor Elect Aimee Marcos texted me yesterday and I did tell her that uh, they can count on me to do right by her and especially by her constituents. So long, again, as it redounds to the benefit of the people. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Hill. Hill Kabakugan, uh, Philippine Daily Inquirer. Mr. President, what will be your first official act? Well, I think the first official act will be to convene the cabinet uh, after uh, assuming office, give them the marching orders, and the marching orders primarily you know, will concentrate on know your respective departments and find out exactly the state of the nation as far as your cabinet as far as your portfolio is concerned. How about your offer for reconciliation? Does it include uh, the President Arroyo? You know, there is, my mother uh, um, 
proposed, di ba? Reconciliation with justice. I have had a lot of promises in the campaign, especially the idea of change, no? It cannot be business as usual. If we are gonna just um, replace people like in a game of musical chairs, I think I would have uh, uh, disappointed everybody who made this victory possible. Therefore, there has to be closure on so many issues. So will we expect justice in your administration? We will really strive for it. We have been striving it even before we decided to run. I think as president, <laughs> excuse me, as president, we will be in a position to effect the necessary changes. With the backing of the people, I don't think anything is possible or impossible. Right? Good afternoon, Mr. Right. President-elect. I'm Baby Lynn Tachio Resulta from Far East Broadcasting Company. You started your presidential quest uh, significantly on a spiritual level because you went on a spiritual retreat. May we know how much of your religious and uh, religious convictions will you apply in the running of the government and in curbing corruption in the bureaucracy? You know, I guess, number one, the fundamental principle that uh, and belief that my church holds to is that we are our brother's keeper. Therefore, you know, to those who have been most dispossessed, those who are powerless, that has to be the priority of government, number one. Number two, um, I, you know, in, at times when I feel that uh, there is need no, for more resources, more skills, more talent than I possess, I always turn to prayer because I'm confident that as far as dealing for the betterment of our people are concerned, God, is, God will be with us. So I want to be focused on that idea that those who have least in life should be the most, uh, should have the most priority, uh, taking to call the sense that we are our brother's keepers. And second, that I, am not, I will not be daunted by the task ahead because we have been, you know, the source of nourishment, strength, and support has been prayer throughout the entire campaign. But at the end of the day, uh, being a democratically elected president of a multi-religious country, I cannot impose my religious beliefs on every on each and every countryman of ours. That will have to be to the conscience of each and every one. Having said that, Mr. President, do we expect more food on the table of the poor families of the nation? And how, how long or how short will your vision be? In more food, yes. No, there is unconditional cash transfers that will be devoid of politics. is high on the priority list. You growing the agricultural sector, enabling them to market their produce most effectively. Not just the growing, not just the production side. No? Uh, turning them to higher value crops, irrigation, etc. Uh, test down working closer with the DepEd. All of these no, are designed, penultimately to answer the problem of freedom from hunger, which is the first necessary freedom. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. President. Magandang hapon po, Pangulong Noynoy. Si Marian po ng Radio Veritas. Ganda hapon uh, niyo po. Ang uh, isa pong concern ng uh, simbahan ay tungkol po sa RH Bill. So, inaantabayanan po nila from you kung ano po ang talagang stand nyo sa RH Bill at kung uh, agenda niyo po ba ito ngayon. Responsible parenthood po ang, sina ang tinutulak namin at nung kampanya pa ho, sinabi nga ho namin dito, ipaalala sa mga magulang, may responsibilidad sila sa lahat ng anak na dadaling po sa mundo. Ngayon po, walang karapatan ng Estado para magdeklara, ganito karami lang ang anak nyo, o kung paano ang paraan ng pagpaplano ng pamilya. Yan po iniliwanan ko na, ilang beses na po, paulit-ulit sa nung buong kampanya sa hanggang ngayon, at yun po paninindigan natin. So meron po tayong mga seminar, malamang bago ikasal, kung saan ipinapaalala lahat itong mga responsibilidad nito at yayayay po yung mga kakulang simbahan para sumama sa paghuhubog ng konsensya po ng ating mga kababayan. Ano po ang inaasahan mula kay Pangulong Noy na ito po ng isang daang araw nang unan yung panunungkulan po? Ma'am, pasensya na po kayo, nasagot ko na ako kanina. No? Una nga ako sa agenda.